My name's Arthene from UK Trade Investment here in San Francisco. And together, me and my colleagues, we've pulled together this fantastic program for the IPA. Well, what I'm interested in finding out is exactly where all these new tech guys see us advertising agencies fitting in. Because I think they may have jumped to the conclusion that our role is in some way going to be less going forwards than it's been in the past. So we started our day at Facebook, which in itself is an exciting proposition. I think the thing that I took most out of it was the degree to which uh, platforms like Facebook and their developers are really thinking hard about applying technology to basic human needs. and we spent quite a lot of time talking about the way in which social platforms now are there, essentially mimicking the way that society has organised itself for many, many years. We have a delegation of 14 chief executives from the leading advertising agencies in the UK who are here on a week-long learning tour as part of the IPA's Creative Pioneers programme. We're just really excited to, to, to kind of expand our presence over in London. I'm actually moving over myself. My name is Jed Nachman. I'm moving over myself in April and uh, intend to have um, a really successful Yelp experience over there. I've learned quite a lot of interesting things. 600,000 new accounts every day, which is sort of quite amazing, really. I've also learned that there's a very important Twitter as their VIT as opposed to VIP, which is fantastic. And also, I don't think I quite appreciate there's so many opportunities for promoting, promote, promoting brands, so, you know, whether it's through promoted tweets. So I'm going to go back to the UK, I'm going to speak to their team there, and hopefully I'm going to do some stuff with clients. So it's fantastic. What I loved about Zynga today was uh, you know, this is an enormously successful business with a massive growth curve. And in spite of their success, they're a really commercial partner who you know, was so actively wanting to work with us. I'm Owen Rogers from IDEO. Um, Great to have all of you guys here today. I've been talking to you guys about innovation and about the design process and the culture and the methodology of IDEO specifically. So it allows us to do what we do with our clients on a, on a sort of regular basis. I was really impressed by IDEO this morning. There's a 30 year old business that's still absolutely on top of its game. They invented the shopping cart, they invited, invented the mouse. What I was most interested about was, was just how do they keep doing that? How do they keep reinventing themselves? And I think the whole uh, creative culture is absolutely focused on that. Today we showed a couple of examples of uh, new products and uh, technologies that have developed out of MediaX sponsored research at Stanford. One of them is a consumer oriented 360 degree camera video capture uh, that can also be used in, uh, in its larger scale in for things like focus groups or um, training. Uh, the other was uh, virtual reality environments and the way that we are understanding how people's behavior can be changed if they can see themselves doing new things. Just two examples of the many different types of research that take place at Stanford through MediaX focused on people and technology. So we're at Warner Brothers Studios uh, and I think I learned two things from one of the biggest studios in the world. Essentially, how they're reinventing their business model for the digital age and it manifests itself in a couple of ways. First of all, they're learning from the same brands we're learning from. They talked about the tech crunch of Google. They talked about the obsessive compulsive culture of Facebook. They even talked about getting closer to your customer in a way that Walt Disney does. 
And second of all, that they are now trying to develop relationships directly with customers. Uh, and that requires a whole different mindset in terms of uh, acquiring uh, customer data and insights. What's really interesting about Fox, which has seen a number of films that they're going to be launching in the next 18 months, are two things. The first is that um, they're going to trial and they know that they're going to fail with quite a few ideas. And there doesn't seem to be a culture of blame or um, finger pointing that actually they're going to celebrate their failures because they know, as they called it, the upside of success is so much higher. I think we've learned about things that we're doing well as an industry and also things that we could do better. Um, it, and it's absolutely surpassed my expectations and I'm going to go back to London with lots and lots to share. A week it has been, um, it's just been phenomenal, really inspirational, um, happy, fun, going back with so many ideas, uh, wouldn't have missed it for the world, incredible. It's been a roller coaster of a week, but we are delighted that everything we set out to do for IPA agencies has come true. And the response we've got, the feedback we've got, has just made all the hard work worth it.